Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Gloria Tremonton Strzok. Fame rings tonight to Gloria Tremonton Strzok is the technical director of the Barber Vintage Motorsport Museum. Noted historian and motorcycle restorer, Hall of Fame member Brian Slark. She's accompanied <coughs> excuse me, by AMA board member Ken Ford, who chairs the AMA Hall of Fame Committee. Gloria, am I on? Yes. Gloria Tremonton Strutt. In recognition of your lifelong commitment to motorcycling as a role model, mentor, and ambassador, it is my great honor to induct you into the American Motorcycle Association Hall of Fame. Who never, well, since 1941, I, uh, I never wanted to ride a motorcycle. Uh, and here I am, 75 years later, with over 650,000 miles to my credit. I'm now 91 years old, and I still ride two wheels, always will. And I have a, a 2004 Heritage Soft Tail uh, Classic. As a 70 year member of the AMA, I sincerely thank all of those in the AMA Motorcycle Hall of Fame and the eligible members who decided that I deserved this honor and voted for me. My thanks go to my brother, he was the last pitcher, Arthur Boop Tremonton, for my most exciting and adventurous life after he taught me into learning how to ride in 1941 when I didn't want to. It's true. Well, my brother passed away two years ago, and I feel he did more to promote motorcycling than I have done and should be the one honored today. In the book I'm presently writing, you will understand why I say this. But many thanks to my son, Glenn, for traveling long distances with me in the USA and for riding with me throughout Europe, enabling my 50-year-old dream to come true. Now, many thanks to my daughter, Lori, who is also a motor maid and rides an Electric Glide, um, electric, electric glide Ultra Classic. Uh, she has been my riding buddy for thousands of miles. And uh, I like to thank her for her patience in putting up with me. For one example, we were leaving for Sturgis about six years ago. I still ride to Sturgis. But her speedometer wasn't working. So Lori always leads, and she's a very cautious rider and she doesn't like to speed. So I told her <clears throat> that on the trip, if she's going too slow, I will ride up close to her. And if she's riding too fast, I will hang back. Well, this worked for many miles. And uh, not far before uh, Sturgis, she was running much too fast. But I thought, what the heck? That's okay with me. So, well, it's true. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> be, besides, if a state trooper ever stopped me and wrote up a ticket for a 91-year-old woman riding a motorcycle at 90 miles an hour, I'm sure they would say, what the heck is he smoking? But anyway. <laughs> But anyway, we passed a, a group of uh, riders from New York just before we stopped for gas. And as we were prepare preparing to leave the station, uh, this group uh, rode into, into the station. And uh, one of them said to Lori, 
you know, we were doing 80 miles an hour, and you blew past us. How the heck fast were you going? Well, you know, at the time, I was 85 years old, and I said to Lori, gee, Lori, I forgot to let you know we were speeding. I think Lori knew better. She puts up with me, yes. Um, <laughs> anyway, I want to, uh, a heartful thank you today goes to the motor maids. Um, sitting at my table, we have motor maids from Florida. Uh, in fact, Darlene has a chipped ankle for riding over a deer, and she rode her bike here. Uh, we also have the Pennsylvania Lois. She rode from Pennsylvania to come here to honor me. And we have someone from Georgia. And we have a woman from Washington, D.C. Um, she did not ride, but anyway, she's here to honor me also. So, you know, it's, and we have um, uh, two from Georgia, actually. And of course, myself, my daughter, and my granddaughter are all ma motor maids from New Jersey. So I want to thank the motor maids for always, always being there for me. And uh, I just want to honor them for being here. Okay, now I've been a motor maid for 70 years, since 1946. And uh, I thank them all, from all over the country. You don't know what a grand group of women these are. And uh, they always give their unwavering support, uh, no matter what happens. Uh, often I am asked about my old time riding, uh, and, uh, you know, women riders at that time did not meet the re approval of most people. Uh, I'm talking 1941. I was called names. I was refused gas. And I was refused lodging. But what a big difference today. There are so many women riding. And my prediction from years ago was that soon, and it's going to be, there will be more women riding than men. Sorry, boys. <laughs> now, last year, my granddaughter uh, started riding. That's Lori's daughter, Kathy. And uh, she joined the motor maids also. And in her first month of riding, she had two days practice. She had taken a course months before, but uh, she hadn't ridden, and then she had two days to practice. And we were leaving for uh, New Brunswick, uh, Moncton, New Brunswick, Canada, for our Motor Maid convention. And she didn't have a bike. So we were leaving on Saturday, Lori and I, and Wednesday she comes home with a bike. Well, like I said, she practiced for two days. And she rode with us, and we took a, a different way, away from the traffic, you know. And my God, she rode like she's been riding for 10 years. So we came back the fast way through Boston and whatever. And uh, well, in her first month of riding, not only did she go with us to the Motor Maid Convention, but she rode with me to Sturgis. This is last year. And she rode over 5,400 miles in one month. Brand new rider. Yes, she takes after grandma and mama. <laughs> yeah. Now, uh, another heartfelt thank you to the many motorcyclists from all over the world who, by their kind comments, let me know that I am an inspiration to them. But you know something? All you people don't realize that you inspire me. Maybe that's hard for you to understand, but it's true. And I thank God daily for my good health, my physical and mental ability, and the perseverance that allows me to do what I love to do. The day I have to give up riding will be a sad day. It'll be a sad day for me until then. Because I, I still continue to live my dreams. I live in New Jersey, 
only 14 miles away from New York City, and my latest dream is to do a cross country on two wheels when I'm 100 years old. Yeah. I can do it. In, in um, the January six, 2016 issue of Cycle Source magazine, they named me Motorcycling Women of the Year for 2015. And the Wall Street Journal chose a previous article about me as one of their most popular articles in 2015. And, and a lot of other things have come up, but I thought you might be interested in those two things. Now, some mo non-motorcyclists, I'm talking about people that know nothing about motorcycles, they don't really know who we are. I have found motorcyclists to be the most giving, the most caring, and the most patriotic people on earth. And I am so proud to be one of you. Bub, this is for you. Thank you.